November 21, 2020 marks four years since the children in the Northwest and Southwest regions began staying away from school. Their teachers and the lawyers were observing a sitting strike, protesting against the non-respect of their Anglo-Saxon educational, linguistic and judicial cultures. In 2017, some activists joined the protest demanding a review of the form of state, demands that led to government's crackdown on frontline protesters. Between 2017 and 2020, lawyers gradually returned to the courtrooms, teachers are getting other jobs without the regions in conflict, but the children are left stranded in their communities. Before the crisis started, I was in class 5, and by now I was supposed to be in Form 3, and now I am in class 6. I've lost 4 years. My name is Amad Bito. I am in GA Flower. I am in class 6. We are staying for long that we are not coming to school. Four years into the conflict, the educational industry of the Northwest region has been hard as heat. The number of students going to schools have reduced. The number of teachers in our school system who are effectively working have reduced. We register fewer children for examination since the advent of the crisis. Much of the basic education infrastructure in the region has been destroyed. After four years, I would have been in 500 and close to 500, 600 thousands, given the progressive increase that I had over the years. But if I am at 100,000 today in 2020, and I was at 422,000 in 2016, November 2016, to see where we are. The government high school Tala in the Donga Mantung division is in a deplorable state. It is one of the schools that was vandalized, but it is not the only in urgent need for rehabilitation works. It's a, bio, it's a um, high school with the, um, science, the sciences, science options. So we have more than 16 subjects taught in this school, but only six teachers. Look at the administrative block. You've seen all the dilapidated This structure where I am is 38 years old. We inherited it from the primary school next door. And this school is 14 years old. I'm appealing to government to give us a helping hand. Furawa in Menchim Division has had the lowest number of operational schools in the basic education sector. The subdivision has one out of the expected 16 schools, with 454 out of the expected 596 pupils as at November 19, 2020. Since the start of the 2020-2021 academic year on October 5th, strides are being made with aims at helping these children and their teachers get the basics for an effective teaching and learning. One of such actions was carried out by the 3rd Rapid Intervention Battalion. They distributed didactic materials, benches, renovated school buildings in 20 schools spread across Bui, Dongamantung and Menchum divisions which have had zero school activity in the last three years. The hierarchy knew that education is the best thing for our future generation. Decided to offer three um, classrooms books to make sure that students should continue schooling. In the Northwest region, the most enclave areas have the least number of operational schools and children. Thanks to these military people, where they be, that they are able to meet uh, 40 decks with two classrooms. But our problem still stands. The children are more than 250. We are pleading that more classrooms should be constructed so that these children will be accommodated inside the classrooms. We are equally asking for textbooks. These children have started school, but they don't have materials. We need more textbooks, we need uh, exercise books and writing materials. Many establishments in the Northwest region are now covered with grants. The dilapidated structures are now begging for urgent attention. The government had put in place a plan of reconstruction and development of the Northwest and Southwest regions with one of three goals to reconstruct and rehabilitate basic structures. Seven months after the appointment of a national coordinator and vice, the plan is yet to enter the implementation phase. This raises worries such as, where are we with the implementation of the presidential plan of reconstruction and development of the Northwest and Southwest regions?